Hi everyone, Sarah here for the Not Too Shabby Shop. Um, I will have all the information linked down below, uh, but just to quickly show you here, don't forget to log in to collect your reward points. For every dollar you spend, you get one point, and for every 100 points, you get a $5 gift certificate. Okay, so for this week, I have gone to one of the stamp sets that I purchased a while ago and haven't had a chance to use yet, and this is Otterly Love You from my favorite things super super adorable huge stamp set love all the little sentiments sorry about the glare filming at night again <laughs> and then I also used this um, die which is called tri peak boo window stitch tri peak boo window so I had purchased this one a while ago also and hadn't had a chance to use it. You can detach the circles if you want to, but I decided to keep it together. Not quite sure yet. Um, and then I also pulled out this um, one from the Green Farm, Be a Unicorn, just to use the little party hat and present out of it. So those are also from the Not Too Shabby Shop. So I do have coloring process for Copic on how I colored in my little otters. Um, I used a technique that I've used a couple times before where I color in the image and then I use my colorless blender solution and I have this little piece of face cloth that's old and ratty cut up here and basically you just put blending solution on it and make sure your little pieces are sticking up and then dab it into your colored image and that is going to take the color away in kind of like a textured um, to just give a textured look to it so it kind of looks like these guys are a little bit furry they're seals so they're not totally supposed to be furry furry but I thought that this would give a good look to kind of make them look a little um, leathery kind of so I always just keep that there for whenever I want to use it so these are a couple of little extra guys that I have the colored and I did also use the black gel pen on their eyes and noses and because they were a darker gray, I did use a black liner. I have a, a Copic um, 0.3 liner that I used for their little mouths and the little whiskers, just so that they would stand out a little bit better on that dark gray. Okay, so here is my card. Super adorable. <laughs> I love how it turned out. I do have the process for you also on the background. It's watercolor plate paper with distress inks. i am been really um, loving the new distress oxide inks, the videos like that are being done to show them. So I really, really want to get my hands on those. Um, but I was playing around with the distress inks to kind of get a watery look. So I used my watercolor paper and trimmed it down. And then I die cut with that My Favorite Things die. So that gives you your scallop across here. Now it does leave a stitch border but on the opposite side but I didn't want that part to be water. I just wanted to keep that the gray. And then the little circles come out but I attached them flat onto the card and then I popped up the um, the rest of it so there's a little bit of dimension to it. So then I placed my two otters on the inside with just foam tape under their heads and the rest of their bodies flat to the card and this one is popped up on foam tape. And there's where I added the, the little party hats from the Greeting Farm stamp set and the little present. And I embossed Have an Otterly Great Birthday. So that is my card. It's nice, um, sweet, and simple. It turned out so cute. Just love that background. So I do have the process for this and for the Copic that I will attach for you to watch. Any questions, um, please leave a comment, subscribe, and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.